So guys, here we go. Alright, first of all, I'm using for this test uh, the Leo Model A Black and I've reduced it down by 150% where they are recommended thinner. So I'm not using any uh, Windex or Windolene. I'm using the recommended thinner. Uh, some of you might ask, 150%? That seems a hell of a lot. Well, when you're doing really, really fine detail, um, obviously any airbrush paint, proper airbrush paint, will sprout your airbrush as it is. But when you want to get a really super fine detail out of your airbrush, 90% of the time you've got to reduce your paint. And obviously we use Windolene or Windex, obviously for... Um, acrylic paints but for this purpose obviously I'm using the recommended thinner um, most uh, paints you know they do recommend thinner down if you want to uh, a really really fine detail so furthermore as as you can see by here I've got uh, obviously the Badger Salt 2020 by the year the Renegade Chrome and at the bottom I got the Badger 100G so let's start off with my uh, super fine uh, airbrush, which is the Badger. Here we go, the Badger Salter 2020, and see how fine we can uh, spray this baby up. All the paint has been mixed in one part, so it's exactly the same. So. Uh, the air pressure I'm running at the present moment, guys, is about 20 psi. Uh, sometimes I like it a little bit stronger than that, but just for this purpose, it's running at 20 psi. So uh, I'll see what I can uh, do with this one. So here we go, guys. All right, and just one thing. Uh, obviously, this has been written um, with a ballpoint pen, so you will get you know the the thickness out of the airbrush. And uh, this is where these trigger adjustments come into their own purpose. So at the moment they're set to tight now. So I push down, nothing's coming out. So I'm just going to slightly move it back and see if we can get any paint out, out of it. It's only a fraction I've moved it back so uh, I'll probably have to adjust it now. move it back a little bit more as you'll experience you'll experience well obviously with uh, any uh, acrylic paints you'll have a tend tendency to have a lot of uh, tip dry See if I can get right in here, hold this tight, tidy. And if I move it fully opened, the spray pattern, say from this inch away. Let's see how far I can actually spray. As you can see, spider effect happens by here because it's not actually, ain't, you know, I ain't pushing it further away or I ain't moving it fast enough. Cause it to go. So obviously this is set up with a super fine needle. So obviously it's a nice obviously spray pattern, but then you can see actually the off spray coming above that. But obviously when the super fine needle comes into a zone is when it's really really fine. 
Let's see if I can get it right down to the bottom. Once again, I'm just adjusting this. And there's nothing coming out. I'm just very, very lightly, slightly twist, not much at all. And by the looks of it, that is the same thickness as the pen line, or even thinner in some cases. So that's the Badger Salt Art 2020, and now we're going to transfer over to the Badger Renegade Chrome. And uh, let's see how this. Uh, new baby of mine, the Renegade Chrome performs and uh, these conditions well first of all I'm double checking my PSI and it's running smack on as it the other one was and straight away I can feel more air come out of you I don't know if it's this type of hose because it's a different hose from the last one but feels like there's more air come out of this uh, this new airbrush than my uh, other one. So uh, it's going to be a bit interesting to see how uh, well this performs, guys. So once again, I'm going to turn this adjustment trigger down, right down, so it's tight, and it's just going to give it a quarter turn. So it's only a fraction of a play in you. So that will allow me to pull this trigger back only a fraction and hopefully it will just give me a really fine detail spray. So let's have a look. Once again, experience a little bit of tip dry already. Let's see if I can get it finer than this. Just gonna turn down a fraction a bit more and see what I can get out of it now. As you can see it does come out by starting to break it out break up slightly. So it might be a slight blockage. In the uh, airbrush, so what I'm going to do with any eels is a good cool tip, guys. Is have a bit of sponge or kitchen sponge or some of your packing sponge from your models. You just put it over the top of the needle. Some people use that, uh, um, they are cloths or uh, a rag of some sort, but with a sponge, you know, it doesn't uh, affect the needle whatsoever. It just goes into the needle. And I'm just going to press it. And what it's doing is actually back flushing, as you can see, the little bubbles in here. It's back flushing it out. So let's have another go. Once again, it starts to spray, and then eventually starts to uh, break up which probably indicates to me that uh, it's a little bit of a tip drying issue with the paint so I'm just going to open up a little bit more now section Let's open it right up and see where the spray pattern is. Right up. Here we go. 
So we're going to start off. It's a nice spray pattern, nice coverage. And this is obviously just the fine uh, tip setup, which is the 0 0.23 mil needle and tip. So as you can see from the pen line to the thickness we can get, there's no doubt it's a very dual airbrush. So the next test, let's go for the uh, my old trustworthy Badger 100G. So let's uh, pan down to the bottom section for the Badger 100G. Alright, a little bit of a con with this with uh, this little fella. It was okay when I used to use uh, Euthrin paints because you didn't experience uh, much tip dry to be honest. But with these uh, the older versions of these Badgers, they got um, instead of Obviously, just replacing the tip, got to replace the whole head for obviously a fine, medium, or heavy. And obviously, with this home protector, well, is uh, used to, only major problem I had with this type of airbrush was that uh, the tip dry occurred inside. And yes, you can unscrew this and take it out, but obviously, the paint was obviously drying inside where the hones are to protect the needle. And obviously that can affect the spray pattern as well. So to overcome that, I've always had one. I've always had a little, um, little soft baby toothbrush. So every time it was uh, drying, I just give it a light scrub by there and clean everything off. So um, yeah, so this is my 20 year old badger. And let's uh, see how well this performs under the two uh, top of the range badgers. So here we go guys. As you can see is a lot thicker uh, line to these are. But after all this is just got a fine needle and obviously it ain't supposed to be designed really as such as to spray finer detail than especially this one for the Badger Soldier or the Renegade Chrome. So, furthermore, let's see what we can get out of this first anyway. Let's give the spray pattern. See if I can get it. As you can see, it's starting to break up a little bit. I think that's only just due to me uh, cleaning this out a little bit too much. Pops, it's got a little bit too much lube where it shouldn't have, and uh, it started to break up a little bit whilst I was doing it. But if I uh, just slightly move it back a bit, let's get back further, further back. You can see. The details between the airbrushes isn't a match mass difference to be honest guys. Um, by the looks of my personal opinion from here for some strange reason um, the one turned out the best 
was definitely the Badger Chrome. Second was the Salt R2020. But by the looks at some of these really fine lines above here, I think it's the Badger Salt R2020 has got a lot more potential. So let's put through another test. Um, instead of using paint, let's use some of the thinnest products which you can spray through uh, an airbrush. And I'm going to have a go at spraying through Winsor Newton ink. Uh, this is a black Indian ink from Winsor Newton. And uh, obviously if you want to get super, super, super fine detail, illustrators use ink. Uh, graphic designers use ink uh, in, in the airbrushes. So just to be fair, start using the acrylic paint from Leo. Let's see how fine we can get out of using ink. So here we go guys. Uh, this is the Winsor Newton oil uh, ink, sorry. Directly straight from the bottle. And uh, let's see how detail we can get out of this uh, Badger 100G. Now obviously it's a lot of thinner paint and obviously a lot more stronger pigment. But obviously if you want to retreat, really want to get the proper result you to see how thin it actually goes is probably is the way to go. I'm not 100 percent sure but hey -o, here we go. Let's see if I can uh, get a fine line. Probably needs cleaning. The tip, but I'm going with my. my uh, I would say to get a decent line up to here. I would say it's about about two mil wide, maybe three, possibly about two mil, which is probably like a um, a thick pen, a thick pencil, uh, to get a good uh, good consistent line. Let's go over this section by here. So as you can see, by these spray patterns from you, this is roughly where I can get out of this uh, airbrush. Obviously as for uh, the wire of it, as you can see, it can spray really good coverage. So you know, ideally I use this lot for basing, uh, for priming, and obviously I tend to uh, use it a lot as well for um, putting varnish through with my medium head setup uh, so this is basically my general uh, works, uh, works dog's body for the further like basic colours and I usually go with the fine detail with my badge assault 2020 so furthermore let's start from the top because I've already got it connected up Let's have a look how well the Badger Solder 2020. So here we go guys. The Badger Solder 2020 is Winston Newton ink straight from the pot. And uh, let's see how far we can get this baby to go. Straight away, as you can see, there's a lot more of a defined, thicker pattern. So, then the paint, let's see if I can get it thinner again.
I'm going to turn the pressure down a little bit for this purpose guys. I'm running at about 10 psi for this one. See how close I can get in right. See what you're using ink is a lot is a it's a lot more of a stronger colour because it's obviously the it's ink at the end of the day, it's not the paint. So obviously when you reduce paint down, like the layer range, obviously it's gonna lose the the, the colour a little bit, but I quite like that because you can build up, build up and build up. But it does perform better whilst using the ink rather than the paint but as you can see the the fine line between uh, lines you can get with just using uh, the Valewa paint thinned down by 150% it's uh, a lot have a lot nicer so I wind this back up See if I can do it was like by hand. When you concentrate it really, really, really fine, yes, it is the same thickness, all slightly thinner than actually the ballpoint pen, as you can see from from there to there. But uh, yeah, oh, pretty good result for the Badger Salter 2020. for the final test it's my uh, new baby the Renegade Chrome and once again it's set at the same PSI from the last one which was 10% uh, 10 PSI so we'll see how well this performs up to 10 PSI and we might have to crank it up a bit but we'll have a go and see what we can get out of it Ooh, for some reason, as you can see by there, it didn't want to come out. That's a bit unusual. I don't know if it was a blockage already prior in, into it, but it's already got it out anyway. So let's have another go. Once again, I'm turning it, the, uh, the attention uh, trigger, or what you want to call it, trigger adjustment. So it's actually sort of tight. I don't want to say half turn. Right, I'm going to have a go again and just turn it back a little bit more. So we'll see if we can get a final line out there. So as you can see the how fine that is against actually the right end. Just a fraction, a little bit, just a fraction thicker 
than the ballpoint pen and uh, I don't know if you can actually reduce ink down I do not know but if you do you probably will be able to get another finer line or detail out of this well, there you go guys by the looks of that section by here it's actually the same thickness as the ballpoint pen from the badger So I'm just going to crank up a little bit. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. But as you can see, it does uh, perform quite well. So my personal experience, my actually final judgment on this guys, let's uh, see if we can pan back a bit and get the full shot of both the doodles. Uh, right, here we go. So if you're looking for an airbrush, I've obviously you've been using your, your cheap Chinese airbrushes and you want to upgrade to something a little bit special um, personal opinion you won't get, go far wrong with a badger um, it's possibly you know, obviously there's obviously other good airbrush makes out there like uh, Harden Steamback and of course uh, I water and uh, and there's a few other ones out there as well but uh, I've always uh, liked using badges I'll probably be using them again but for the price of obviously the Salt.2020 down from obviously where the price is at the, at the moment for a Badger 100G and the Badger Chrome is in the middle I would definitely recommend the Badger Chrome. Uh, it absolutely works very, very well as the fine needle setup goes. And for most hobbyists, you that's the finest you will ever, ever need it uh, to spray, guys. And obviously, the beauty of it, it comes with the extra size needle. So when you're doing your tanks, etc., it gives you a larger spray pattern for a nice even coverage on them as well guys so uh, there you go you can make your own judgments up this is just my personal preference and uh, I hope this helps you out and uh, you can decide from me guys thanks for watching this long vid <laughs> bye